What up, Gromies? Today, I'm going to show you how to cultivate labs, or lactic acid bacteria, which is a great natural farming input for plant and human health. First up, you're going to start off with um, clean bowls and clean water, because whenever you're trying to cultivate microorganisms, it's good to start off on a clean slate. Now we're going to take a few cups of rice here and pour it in this bowl and then a little bit of water to cover up that rice and we're going to uh, mix this rice around really well to get all the starch to come off of it because that's what we're going to use to cultivate the lactic acid bacteria and capture it from your local environment. Now using lactic acid bacteria from your local environment is a little bit better in my opinion than getting some lactic acid bacteria in another product that's maybe lab grown because the lactic acid bacteria is already acclimated to your area. Now a few things that lactic acid bacteria is good at is solubilizing nutrients to help the nutrient uptake for your plant. It's good to mix with the fermented plant extract or fermented plant juice uh, as a foliar spray. It's also used in making um, fermented plant extracts or juices. It's also really good at arresting um, foul smells like uh, kitty litter box or uh, sink drains or a trash can. Just by um, pouring some of it in a spray bottle, you can take care of the trash can and kitty litter box. Um, pouring a little bit down the drain and letting it sit there for 30, 40 minutes and then rinsing it out will also help the smell coming from the drain. Now, as you can see, after mixing up this rice really well, the water got really cloudy and it's all full of those starches that we need to capture the lactic acid bacteria. Now after that is all mixed well, you can strain it off so that we just have the really cloudy water. And you're going to want to do this into a you know, short, shallow container that's a little bit wider so it's easier to capture the lactic acid bacteria. You technically can do this in a mason jar, but the mason jar being a smaller diameter, uh, you may not capture the lactic acid bacteria as easily. Now you're going to want to put a breathable cover on this and let this sit for a day, day and a half until it smells a bit sweet. You want to make sure that it smells sweet and not like sour. Um, when you know that it smells sweet, you know that you have lactic acid bacteria. Now, after you know you have lactic acid bacteria, you're going to need some milk and then uh, another couple of containers. And the last process in this step is to mix um, one part of the rice wash water and nine parts of the milk. Now the milk is going to um, suffocate out all the other um, yeasts and bacteria and whatnot inside the rice wash water and only cultivate the lactic acid bacteria which is what you'll see after the milk separates. You'll see the curds in the whey, and the, the yellow whey serum uh, is the lactic acid bacteria. Now, just like um, with the rice wash water, you're gonna wanna put a breathable lid on it. I like using coffee filters with the uh, mason jar ring. It makes it nice and simple. And if you do want to, you can cut this recipe pat to do a uh, half a gallon milk or a little bit less depending on your size of your garden. Now this stuff does um, last about a month, month and a half in the refrigerator or at the end of the video I'm going to show you a way that uh, you can mix it with equal weights brown sugar and it will last uh, on the shelf up to a year. Like I said the breathable container, uh, the breathable lids excuse me are essential because we're cultivating li uh, living organisms. So 100% essential. Now it's super, super important also to label and date your natural farming inputs. This way we can keep track of, you know, what we have and when we need to complete the processes. Now when you have these labeled, you're going to want to put these in uh, a dark area and let them ferment for a day to maybe a day and a half and afterwards you're going to see a good separation of the curds in the way like you see here. Once you do have the separations of the curds and whey, you're going to want to um, separate out the big curds. I like to use a large spoon for this 
And after I get a lot of the curds out, I like using, um, there's a metal coffee strainer inside the funnel, in which you'll see in a little bit, that helps capture the remaining curds that I couldn't get with the large spoon. Now a few more things that uh, labs are really great at is they're really great at promoting plant growth and plant health immune systems. They're also great at improving soil quality. They're, it's really great to do um, a pre-soak before you do any transplants. And they also help outcompete unwanted microorganisms. Another really great thing is that with all the um, curds that you get, you can make some decent cheeses out of it. That's a whole nother video altogether, but you also can make cheese out of this process. Um, if you don't wanna make cheese out of this process with the curds, you can go put the curds in your compost pile. Um, if you have any livestock, you can feed it to your livestock. It's really great for their digestive system, as well as it has a lot of nutrients in it for them. And that's the thing I really love about natural farming. Um, almost nothing goes to waste. Everything can be used or used in another process. You know, even if sometimes the process goes wrong, you can use that in a whole other process and uh, recover that material. Now, as you can see, as the uh, milk container fills back up with the lactic acid um, bacteria serum, the, it has a yellow tinge to it. That's exactly what we're looking for. And that tells you that you do have uh, lactic acid bacteria. Now, like I said, you can store that in the fridge with a breathable lid and that will last a month, a month and a half. But if you do want it to last a bit longer, you can mix it with the equal weights brown sugar. So I'm just weighing out some lactic acid bacteria serum here to get the weight. Make sure that you always tear your scale after you put the container on it so that you're weighing just the lactic acid bacteria serum. And the same as when you go to weigh your brown sugar, make sure you tear out the container. And what we're shooting for is uh, one part lactic acid bacteria and one part sugar by weight. And what this is gonna do is uh, pull all the moisture away from the lactic acid bacteria and um, allow them to not move nearly as much. And what they want, wanna do is sporulate um, and go into hibernation pretty much. And so this will last a little bit longer on the shelf, like I said, up to a year. And you can take a little bit out and mix it into some water. Uh, if you do do this method, I recommend 
uh, when you do go to use it, mix a little bit in the water and wait, you know, 15, 20 minutes for the lactic acid bacteria to you know, rehydrate and wake back up. And then go ahead and use it in your foliar sprays, your um, soil soaks, whatever you're going to um, use it for at that time. Hey Gromies, I'd like to take this time to ask you to like and subscribe. It helps push the content further in this algorithm and reach more people. Thanks a lot Gromies. Another little tip here is that um, after you've added all the sugar and you've mixed it really well with the lactic acid bacteria and you feel like uh, it's not quite enough sugar, you can add a little bit more brown sugar um, just to make sure that the microorganisms don't use that sugar as food and try to grow even further and run into a um, kind of a runaway situation and it will actually make your lactic acid, <coughs> excuse me, your lactic acid bacteria go bad a little bit. Now, if you want to learn even more about all of the different natural farming techniques that I like to use and that others like to use, there are uh, links to three really great books down in the description. The one's, for, one's called Rejuvenating Your Soil with Matt Powers, and he goes through a lot of different um, of these natural farming inputs as well as a lot of the different scientific information about uh, why these different natural farming inputs work. There's another book down in the description called Jadam Organic Pesticides, as well as Jadam Organic Farming, in which a lot of these um, natural farming practices were popularized from. Now, like I said, you're gonna wanna keep the rest of it with a breathable lid in the fridge, and it will keep for a month, month and a half. Thanks for watching, Gromies. Have a good one.